Hello and welcome. We got our mail in our table. Yeah, last time we did this, last time we managed to put in our mail. So I want to fill in. I want to fill in a name to my entry. Yeah. So from everything I know, I just write insert. I have to select the window as well. Yeah. So insert, insert into student list yeah. and then of course student forename student surname wrongly spelled but okay surname yeah student born and student mail okay and the value shall be forename Heinz surname Peter Shorsky yeah, or me born and now email Shovsky. Ah, I should really learn how to type. Okay, I am inserting now my email address. Query OK. Select everything from student list. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay, two things. It seems like my table is not, my window is not uh, big enough for this table. You can always resize this window. Yeah. Now it's really big. I will once again, okay, looking better. And now I see. <sighs> I entered a new. Entry. Entry number eight, Heinz Petrashovsky. That's me. There is an email address. But I did want to enter the email address to the first entry. Yeah? Not not and make a new entry than the first entry. For what? Yeah? So I have to use another command. Okay. And this other command is called update. Update. And now which table? Student list. And what do we want to do? We want to set student mail to my email address. Yeah. And now I have to Tell where, yeah? where student ID is one. Okay. Aha, uh -huh. of course. Yeah. We said student mail must be unique and I want to enter now the same email address to another entry. Yeah. So I have to get rid of my of my entry first. I have to get rid of this. So I tell you now how to delete an entry. Yeah, and this is easy. The command is delete. Yeah, delete from student student list where student surname equals Petrashovsky. I want to delete the entry. Pick. Uh. Three rows effect. This was not good. 
This was not good. Yeah. Why? Because it just said student sure name is Peter Shovsky. So we can even delete more than one entry with a single command. This is what we learn from that, okay? This is what we learn from that. Let's make a select. Uh, yeah, not much left. Not much Peter Shovsky is left. Okay, it would be wise. It would have been wise to use to use the the main the the the, 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 the primary key. Yeah? If I would have just written student ID eight, I would have been fine. But now, now I have to get back those entries somehow. Yeah? It's not that easy. So. Uh, let's use Carl Carlson and just to try to enter a new email address. This is actually what we wanted to do. So I will use this update set student email. I will simply write Carl Carlson, Carl Carlson. Carlson at atlstb.at where student ID is three. Yeah, this is Carl Carlson entry. Enter. Okay. Rows matched one. Uh, changed one. Looks good. Let's have a look. Carl has an email address. Okay, so this is working. Now I have. If I have, would have done this before, I would be already. I would have already finished. Yeah? But now I have to somehow re-enter the entries. Okay. But somewhere in my history must be this insert statement. Here it is. Yeah. I will insert Heinz simply once more. Yeah. Let's have a look. How is the select? Here we are again. Heinz is back. Yeah. However, you see the student ID changed. And maybe, maybe somebody is referring to the student ID. Yeah. So I will update student list and I will set the student ID to one again. Yeah. Where student ID was mine. Mm -hmm. Enter. Let's have a look. Fast. Heinz is back. Okay. However, it's not the original entry. This it's clear for us, hopefully. Yeah. We just made a copy. That's it. I will now again enter Margit. And the email address. Buck. How does it look like? Margaret got 10. You notice auto increment. It is not just again using 8. It is every time it is incrementing. It saved somewhere that it has already been incremented. Yeah? So we are already at 10. I will simply update the student ID to 2, where student ID is 10. So we faked our entries. Yeah? Margaret and Heinz are back even with email addresses. Okay? This is how we modify how we modify entries. Yeah? Just use update. Update, table name, set, attribute equals something. Okay, and if you don't use the where, you will update every single line. Okay. Good, yeah. Maybe you see it's really dangerous. Yeah, we deleted something. 
This is because we are allowed to delete in there. Maybe it would have been wise that we are not using the root user. Yeah? We just we don't really notice it, yeah, but we are just using the root user and and the root user has every right to do all possible and impossible things. Yeah? Impossible of course. Okay. Uh, so usually we should use a user which is protecting us somehow from such errors. Yeah? Next time we are doing, going to talk about user management. Yeah, what is a user? How to add a user? How to give rights, privileges to user, and so on. This will be in next video. Okay. For this time, thank you very much for listening. I will update all mails in the meantime. Yeah, and for you, goodbye.